So uh, let's just, let's just peel one layer back at a time. And the whole idea about the age. So if they're 62 and they have, you know, either 40% or no, no uh, uh, debt on the home because of their, is it because of their, their expected life expectancy? And so they get a lower amount because it's going to take, they, they possibly could be receiving funds for a lot longer or is there, is there some other reason? No, exactly right. It, it, it has a lot to do with your life expectancy. It's all about actuarial tables. People are living longer now. So if you think about it, if you get a, if you, let's say you're 62, you're now eligible and your home's free and clear. Um, that may be a, a good scenario to go ahead and pursue a reverse mortgage. However, what I usually find is the homeowner, you know, especially when they're on that lower end of the eligibility age spectrum, are oftentimes disappointed when I show them how much proceeds are available to them. You know, again, using my million dollar home example, let's say it's free and clear and you're 62 and a half and you're applying for the loan. And, you know, we, we put together a proposal and we send it to the borrower and they find out they're going to get you know, 250,000. I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, my home's worth a million bucks. I can only access 250 out of a million bucks. Well, it, what it has to do with is, you know, remember a reverse mortgage is, probably the original uh, negatively amortizing loan. The mm -hmm. loan is going to grow over time because if you choose not to make the payments, interest and the mortgage insurance is going to be added back to the balance every month. It's going to grow. And well, if you're 62 mm -hmm. and you end up living to 85 or 90, that loan amount is going to grow substantially over that period of time. Thus, it's necessary to kind of reduce the amount available to you if you're on that lower end of the age eligibility threshold. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind uh, when you're considering this product. 